These days, you can't get anywhere without having a big argument about identity politics. I'm this, you're that, I'm a Democrat, you're a Republican, I'm, you know, I'm a liberal, you're a conservative, whatever it happens to be. A lot of people in business, they have identity politics all their own. They have an identity that it revolves around their excellence in their job. Who are you? I'm a father and a grandfather, and I'm a husband, you know. But when people ask me that question, I say I'm a professor at the Harvard Business School. <laughs> Why? Because that's my identity. Okay, that's a way to identify myself to be sure, but if that's how I see me, that's a real problem, isn't it? That strips away the really important things that I have in my life. For people who are desperately afraid of the death of their identity as a successful person, I don't care who's watching this. I don't care how successful you are. The party's gonna finish, man. It's not gonna last forever. And you have to be comfortable with that so you can fully be alive and involved in what's going on in your life today. Otherwise, you'll be immobilized by the, the fear of something that paradoxically is the most normal, most predictable thing in your whole life, which is that this is going to stop. Everybody needs to manage their own life like a project and understand that your skills and interests are going to change. The good times are not going to last forever and you have to engineer new good times under different circumstances. And that's the advice I'm taking for myself and I'm actually at peace for the first time in a long time.